seashells and welcome back to my channel I have my blue yeti nano mic right here so hopefully the sound is okay but uh, this is just gonna be a chatty soft-spoken life updates video I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in um, forever just because I've been so sick the past week it's not um, it's not, it's not what you think it is. It's just a regular head cold. I actually thought I had a sinus infection, but I think it's finally going away. Sorry, my ears are popping still. Um, so that's why I'm just doing a soft-spoken video, because whispering's still a bit hard on my throat. But I'm hoping that I'll be back to filming normally in a couple days. But yeah, this cold, like just came out of nowhere. I was fine one night and then the next night I was sick and that's why it's really really bad when I do get sick because my immune system isn't very good and so when I get sick I get really sick. Like first year university when I got sick I had to get x-rays on my lungs. This was before the whole panoramic and everything but just because my cough was so bad and I was like, I couldn't breathe um, properly. It's just like when I get sick, it just takes, it just fully takes over. <clears throat> so hopefully I get better soon. Um, but I just kind of wanted to update you guys on a couple of things because I haven't talked to you in a while, like I said. So first off, yeah, I was sick. I couldn't film. Um. My sickness also took form in acne. Um, my body was too busy fighting off the sickness, which it, it's not very good at, but it's been too busy fighting off that that I hasn't been able to work on my skin. Now that being said, I actually have stopped all skincare for the past month now. I might include a couple pictures because I had actually cleared my skin by just using water. I mean, if I was wearing makeup, I would wash my face um, with a face wash and use my makeup eraser, but otherwise I wasn't using any acne creams and my face kind of purged and I broke out really bad and then it cleared up fully and I was so happy and then I got sick and then I started breaking out really bad just because when I get sick, I break out. So, that's unfortunate. Um, oh, my ear is just keeps popping. I wish it would just stop. So, that's a little skincare update that I wanted to tell you guys about because I am trying to stop using skincare products just because I think my skin needs a break from it. Um, I feel like I'm honestly just tired of using like eight skincare products every night. And the fact that my skin did clear up when I stopped using everything, I feel like was just a sign that I maybe don't need it. Um, another update is, if you guys don't know, I do actually get my nails done now. I get biogel. I have been getting some questions about that. Um, just while in university and stuff, I can't wear fake nails, like glue on, because they're always too long, so I can't type. But at least when I get them done, I can control the length. So right now I have these little clouds. Cloud nails. Which are quite pretty. My nail deck popped off. So those are just a couple little updates. Sickness, skincare, nails. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I need to film a video on my second channel for my clothing line update. I, like I said, I've just been too sick, so I haven't gotten the chance to, but... I do have a lot to update you guys on there, and I'm actually supposed to be getting my samples tomorrow, which I'm quite nervous for because the pictures of my samples looked bad. Um, but I'm supposed to get them tomorrow, so I need to film for my second channel when I'm feeling up for it, and I'm hoping to be able to film another video today, just really casual, for the ASMR for charity, because I do need to get that done as well. Now, um, another update I have is university. So, I do start classes September 7th, I think. 
um, which is why I also stopped posting on a vibe. I made a community post about that just because I need to focus on school and my health, which I'll get into. So this fall, I'm taking five commerce courses, which are like hard courses. And then in the winter, I'm taking three arts courses so I can focus on the launch of my clothing line. And um, all of my courses are online or remote, which is good, so I can be home if I need to, if I have doctor's appointments and things like that. So I'm really happy I was able to get that accommodation um, because it's much, it's much better for me. So yeah, classes do start soon. I will be pretty stressed out, but I'm hoping to find my rhythm and routine when I get into that. Um, and I do want to make some back to school role plays and stuff for you guys, but I'm just still not feeling my best, so I'm not in a place where I can kind of make a fun role play, I feel like. But yeah, classes are starting up. I was supposed to go back to my university house come September 2nd, which is Thursday, but I probably won't just because I'm still sick and I don't want to get any of my housemates sick and I also just don't feel quite ready to go back. I mean, I haven't even packed yet and I haven't pre-filmed at all. Like, I just don't feel um, ready with work or anything. So I just feel like I might stay home a few more days past until I feel like I'm able to go up. But I will go up so you'll see some videos in the university house eventually, I'm sure. Now, I also, I think this is last, but I lastly just wanted to update you guys on my help. Because I haven't really told you guys what's been really going on with that. Um, so, if you don't know, I had two surgeries because I had Bartholin cysts which are down there and if you ever had a Bartholin cyst they suck they're very painful mine was the size of a golf ball and so I had to get a surge I had to get like under anesthetic for the first surgery and then it came back and then I got a second surgery which they didn't put me under anesthetic for and it was just like they did local numbing which was anyways it was the most painful thing in my life that whole week while I had because I had a balloon catheter that whole, I think it was two weeks. Anyways, it was just absolutely awful. It was the worst pain I've ever experienced. Um, but luckily my Bartholin cyst hasn't come back. Now, I got my first Bartholin cyst September 2020. And September 2020 is also when I started having these symptoms, which include, um, really painful, um, urination, like, it really hurt to pee, I would have some, like, cramping, um, and it just constantly felt like I had to pee, like, if any of you have ever, ever had a bladder infection, I'm sure more of my female viewers know, because they're more common in females, but if you've, ever, if you've ever had a bladder infection, you know how bad they are, and I was constantly living with that, and I actually was put on numerous antibiotics throughout the past year, because it really has been a year since September 2020, um, which has also taken an effect on my immune system because I've been on, on almost 10 antibiotics the past year, which isn't good for you, just because I've had so many bladder infections and yeast infections I did have, um, and we couldn't figure out what was wrong with me because sometimes I would go and get, um, like they would test my urine and it wouldn't have any signs of a yeast infection or bladder infection or anything. It was completely fine. So I should be fine, right? I shouldn't be having these symptoms. And it had gotten to a point, and like I'm really opening up about this with you guys, so please be nice in the comments. But it had gotten to a point where, um, in March when I was doing my exams for my classes, like I was having to um, do my exams while, like, sitting on towels, because I would have to pee, like, every five seconds without exaggeration, but it would only be a drop, so I couldn't get up and go to the washroom when I was doing my remote exams, because obviously the proctors would be like, that's sketchy, and I just run out of time on my exam, which is also why I failed one of my exams, because 
I was dealing with these symptoms and I have spent so much time in the washroom because it's just so painful. I would spend literally hours at a time on the toilet because I couldn't pee or it just felt like I had to pee, but I couldn't. I was sleeping on towels because I couldn't, like, I couldn't fully control it. It just hurt so bad. Um, I wasn't sleeping. Like, these episodes would be so bad. Like, sometimes it would be for a few days, and then for two weeks I wouldn't have any symptoms, and I'd be perfect. And I'd think I was finally better, and then I would come right back. So my doctor didn't know what it was. She thought it was related to the Bartholin cyst, but I'm also seeing a naturopath now. And what my doctor thinks it is too is interstitial cystitis. So if any of you know what that is, then hi, I'm part of the team. <laughs> but basically it's a chronic and acute, I think that's what it's called, chronic and acute pain um, illness. I think it's illness. I don't think it's a disease. Maybe it's a disease. I don't know. It's a chronic and acute pain illness, um, and it basically, the symptoms are, like, very painful, um, urination, like, painful cramps, um, stinging, like, free, frequent need to urinate, like, all of those things. Like, basically, you constantly need to pee, and when you do pee, it hurts really bad, which is true. So, that's what we have, um, Interstitial cystitis can come and go at any point in your life. There's no cure for it, unfortunately, but there are treatment options. Um, some people with interstitial cystitis have actually had to quit their jobs because obviously you can't work a 9 to 5 if you have to constantly go to the bathroom every 5 seconds and it hurts really bad. You would just get fired because you can't work properly. <laughs> so some people have to quit their jobs. And that's also why I can't do my in-person university classes this year is because I can't leave class every 30 seconds because I has to pee because I have to pee. It'd be like I would go pee, I'd come back to class, I'd sit down, I'd have to pee again and it would be super painful and hurt. So I couldn't do that, which is why I'm taking online classes. Um, and when I do have flare-ups now, I do actually have to wear diapers, like, it's pretty sad because I'm 20 years old and I have to wear diapers when I have flare-ups because that's what it is, it's like a flare-up. I have sometimes, I'll be completely fine living a normal life and then I will have like a three-day flare-up and I'll need to wear diapers to bed, it'll be super painful, I'll have to, um basically just like I can't do anything I can't go out because I'll just have to pee all the time and we can't make stops obviously so it's just really frustrating so that's my life right now so <clears throat> interstitial cystitis doesn't have an actual cause I can't be like oh it's because you I don't know like you stubbed your toe really bad so now you have interstitial, interstitial cystitis like no one really knows the cause and that's why there's also, like, no distinct cure. So, the reason we think I have interstitial, interstitial cystitis is because I had a nutrient deficiency. Now, September 2020 is when I got my first Bartholin cyst, which is why we thought it was related to that. But that's also when I went vegan. And when I went vegan, obviously, you're cutting out more foods. You're cutting out dairy and stuff. So, um, that's why we think that... I probably had a nutrient deficiency, right? Because I also just don't eat very much in general, and the meals I do eat definitely aren't the most nutritious, you know? Like, I am not eating superfood vegan salads every day, like, no, gross. So, um, I'm seeing a naturopath now, and I'm on a bunch of different supplements to also help my gut because I was on so many antibiotics. Um, really increased my protein intake. I've like tripled my protein from what it was and I'm now adjusting my diet and my flare-ups have definitely been way better. I still get them and like I said, there's no cure so I probably will still get them for who knows the rest of my life but my flare-ups are a lot better than what they were, thank 
my cabins because it was absolutely awful and my parents were also really worried about me of course because I would come down in the morning sometimes and I would just look like dead because I wouldn't have gotten any sleep I've been in so much pain so I just looked so exhausted right so now I'm working with my doctor and my naturopath so I've been working on my diet which I think is helping and I'm also seeing a couple specialists in October urology specialists and they'll probably have a look at my bladder to see what's going on and see if I would need surgery or something or you know what what other treatment options are available to kind of further help um minimize the flare-ups mitigate that so that's my life right now um yeah i wanted to update you guys on that just because for a few times now in a few videos i've just been saying like oh i need to focus on my health or oh like i've been having health issues blah blah, blah. and you guys are probably wondering what that is but yeah, it's that. So, I have interstitial cystitis. If you want to Google it, you totally can and read more about it if you're curious. Um, if you read about it and have a bunch of similar symptoms, definitely talk to your doctor about it. It's very hard to diagnose, um, and that's why it, it can't be said I have it like a hundred percent, like for sure, but that's what my doctor thinks it is. That's what my naturopath thinks it is. Like, that's kind of the only the only thing we think it could be at this point right because I've, I've tried so many things to help it and been on so many antibiotics but nothing helps so yeah those were just some little life updates um about my health about my my chronic illness or whatever it is um about university why i'm not going back full time because of my health issues it's really embarrassing too i don't want to have to wear a diaper to class also because it's just loud like when you're walking and like oh it's, just, it's terrible anyways so um but like that would only be when i'm having a flare-up obviously but i can't control when flare-ups are and we don't we haven't pinpointed what causes my flare-ups yet it's really hard it's a lot of try and trial and error it's, it's very exhausting and frustrating um so yeah health updates university updates a little bit of a clothing line update sickness update still sick still sick seashells i've been sick for over a week now and i've been taking so much medicine and nothing works i just when i get sick i get sick um so sickness update and then skincare and nails and just a bunch of little updates so yeah i hope you guys feel more more included in my life you kind of know what's been going on what i've been dealing with because that's really what i've been dealing with now i have um blood work in a couple weeks too to see um you know if there's any any hints of what could also be causing flare-ups or anything in my blood you know like if my vitamin d is really low or something you know so um, it's just right now my life is just going to be university youtube filming clothing line and health it's going to be trying figuring out what's wrong with me so seeing specialists working on my diet and getting tests and blood work and stuff so welcome to my life <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this little the chatty video and it's kind of soft spoken is it I can't really even tell because my ears are plugged and like popping the whole time which is incredibly annoying so I can't tell how loud I'm talking but I think it's like a soft spoken I don't know I, I want to cut this ear off at this point I hate it it's driving me mental <laughs> but that's all for now um I'll try and film an ASMR for charity video it'll probably just be really low-key guys like I'm still not feeling my best and um, I don't know, I just need to rest, so I will be seeing what I can do for that, but yeah, I love you all so much, and hopefully I will, um, be back to normal soon, okay, see you all, bye-bye.